Go to eformsign.com and click free trial. Fill in the sign up info and click sign up. Confirm your email address. And then log in to your account to complete the sign up. Go back to eformsign.com and scroll down to click eform sign form builder. Scroll down and click download form builder to download and then execute the installer. After the form builder is installed, open a Microsoft Office program. In this demo, I'll open Word. You can see that the form builder is installed at the top. To use the form builder, open a form, download a form from your cloud account, or create a form from scratch. In this demo, I'll open a form. Let's click on the form builder tab. You can see the various input components that can be added, including check, radio, text, multi-line, combo, date time, numeric, toggle, signature, camera, voice, attachment, user, date, and label. You can also draw each component. Delete each component. Select multiple components. And view the properties of each component. Now, let's complete the form by adding input components one by one. Let's add a text component. You can click on the drawing component, and then select the text component. And then draw a text box. Then, click properties to see its properties. You can change the component properties as you like. I'm just going to change the ID name here. Now, let's try adding some check components. You can press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to copy and paste each component. We are also going to change the ID name and check style. Now, let's add some radio components. We are going to create three of them. You can also choose to make the radio components multi-selectable or single selectable. To do so, first click on the selection menu and group the components together as a single ID. To make it so that multiple boxes can be selected, tick the multi-selectable option. To make it so that only one box can be selected, untick the multi-selectable option. Now, let's add a date time component. Let's try selecting a component directly from the ribbon menu this time. You can decide whether to allow an empty value, as well as selecting the minimum date, and the maximum date. Now, let's try adding a combo component. You can add the list of items in component properties on the right. Let's also add a toggle component. Again, let's add the list of items in component properties on the right. Now, let's try adding a multi-line component for typing in multiple lines. And we are going to set the maximum length in component properties on the right. Now, let's add a numeric component and set the component properties as desired. We are also going to add a signature component and then set the component properties such as pen thickness and color. Now, let's add an attachment component. It allows you to attach any type of file you want. If you have a camera or voice device connected, you can add these components as well. Let's delete them for now. You can also add a user component which automatically displays the username. A date component, which automatically displays the date. And a label component for CSV extraction. Once you have finished completing the form, you can click execute to preview. To do this, you need to log in to your eForm sign account. After logging in, check that all the necessary components are added properly. Finally, when you are ready, upload the form to your eForm Sign account by clicking the Form File Upload button.
you can apply the same principles you just learned, in Excel and PowerPoint as well.